Okay, we'll get Luke before coach. Fire away with questions. Luke, the team had a little bit of a you know rough patch, but now with the, these two games in a row, do you feel as though that you're back on track and that you're playing Drexel basketball? Yeah, I think for sure we're back on track. I mean, it was a tough, it's tough to win on the road. So I mean, obviously we can, we're capable of winning on the road, but it felt good to come back home and win these two games. And I think we're we're on the right track, and we just got to keep it going. Got a couple more conference games left, but yeah, I think we're back on the right track. In this game, you made them play uphill, you know, getting out to that early start. How important was that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty much what we've been harping on because the last couple of games, we didn't get off to a great start. I mean, the Charleston game, we got off to a good start, but the other games, you know, we were down like 19 to 7 and like 12 to 2. So it was really important for us to get off to a good start and just don't give them any hope early, especially at home. Do you attribute that start to like a good combination of defense and three point shooting? Yeah, for sure. I think it starts with defense. Uh, if we if we don't let them score, you know, help hold them to like under 10 points or whatever early on. And then if we're making shots, it'll just open it up and just consistently through the game. But it definitely starts with defense. I know they kind of got some buckets there late, but did you guys feel like this was maybe your best defensive performance in a while in the last couple of games? Uh, yeah, I think definitely for sure. And they play a, a good system. They got a lot of backdoor cuts and stuff. So... I mean, we, we had a good practice yesterday harping on that. Don't get don't get beat on the back doors. So I think that we did have a good uh, defensive performance. Obviously, Coach will watch the film and tell us how we did. But, yeah, I think we did a better job all around rebounding and all that. You mentioned, I mean, if, I think four games left now until the conference tournament. How, what do you do to kind of gear up for that? Because obviously that's kind of what it's all about, right? Yeah, that's what it's all about. I mean, we just got to focus on the next one. We got Hallstrom on Thursday, so that's our next challenge. And then take it in my game after that. All the same. Two great shooters. <laughs> All right, let's get going. I thought, I thought uh, you know, obviously we did a lot of things. For the bulk of the game, I thought we were pretty good. I do not think we ended it well. I do not think we handled the pressure well. I didn't think we guarded great at the end. Uh, there'll be a lot we can cover on film and get better at. Um, I'm glad that we built a cushion and played well enough for the chunk of time, uh, but we can be better. Is That's that, it. We'll see Zach, you. Do you feel you oh. had? Sorry about that. You're good. You feel you're good, you had good. Uh, good balance offensively with the inside game and the outside game, and how well did they complement each other? Well, I think they make it really tough for you to score interior, in, in, inside a lot, you know. Um, I thought Amari, Amari Williams impacted the game in so many ways. Five blocks. I mean, my goodness, how many other shots does he alter where people just don't even shoot it, right? Um, and, and so I think we were pretty balanced today. We probably took a few more threes than we have, but I think we shot it well, too. And when you look at the stat sheet, you got a lot of contributions from a lot of players. Uh, is this showing that the players are owning their time on the floor and giving you what I would call true depth? Yeah, I, that would be for you to determine. I, I think a lot of our minutes, I, you know, foul trouble determines some of that right there. Um, I think we have some depth. I'm just stuck on some numbers right now. You're talking about coming off a game and then the final five minutes I thought were not indicative of how I thought we played pretty well. So that's a thorn in my side right now. Um, 14 turnovers is entirely too many um, to win a championship. And, uh, you know, they only had six. So, and they were key, right? But uh, I thought we went on some runs. Um, Luke House was tremendous shooting the basketball. Um, Ochris was great, and uh, it, it was a team effort. You guys have played some, I guess, high-scoring games of late. Was the first 35 minutes tonight kind of uh, more the, def the defense you'd like to see uh, from this group? Could, did, did that feel like you were playing pretty strong on that end tonight? I thought, was it that the first 18 minutes, 17 and change, first 18 and a half minutes in the first half was pretty good. We were, they were, it was 17 points. 
and it ended the half with 26. He scored nine in the final minute and a half, which was infuriating. Um, but I do think um, we have played teams with this style of play, which is very unique. They're really good. Um, and I thought we answered that challenge, right? But that's a, that's a tough style of play. The Princeton offense, those you don't know, I mean, Kev was at Richmond. He was at Air Force, right? He was right here when it, we used to be called Beaver College. He's been with Mooney forever. Um, he runs a, a, an awesome version of it that's modern, but also has some principles that are, that are traditional to the offense. And I, I think the happiest uh, group of coaches is probably the coaches in the Big South that don't have to play them anymore. Uh, but they're, you know, they're six and seven in our league, whatever they are. And I think they've had, uh, they lost on a half court heave Thursday night. And uh, they lost at Wilmington by three points, among other games. So uh, I think they're, you know, they're going to be a team that's going to be uh, a force at some point in time in the future. How do you, I guess you approach these last four games here as you're preparing for the, the conference tournament? What's kind of needs to be fine tuned or whatever? We have one game on Thursday. I'm not going to change what we've been talking about. We're trying to go 1-0. We just played that team on Thursday. Um, we played to a two-point win. Um, and we had a guy score 34 points. So um, plenty to work on. As you've going through the season here, is there anything unique stuck out about this group compared to some of your team in the past? Anything they do a little different? Uh, a little more interchangeable parts, I think. Uh, very, very small ego, right? Willing to do things, not caught up in individual accolades much at all. And uh, that makes it fun to coach. Uh, but I think they have the right approach. A lot of days come in and ready to work and, and you know, we'll have some things we know we got to clean up. Good. All right, guys. See if there's yes, sir. How you doing? What's your name? I'm Lucas. My first question. I'm sorry. Wait, Lucas, where are you from? I'm from Jersey. What? South Jersey. Lucas from South Jersey. Is that a newspaper? Is that what? Uh, or? Well, the Triangle, um, the Drexel newspaper. Oh, you're a Drexel student. I'm a Drexel student. What's your major? I'm a, I'm a photo major, but I'm doing some sport bu business stuff on the oh, side. Oh man, was this your first game? Yes, I've been here throughout the season, but it's my first question. Oh, uh, all right. Let's make it a good one, Lucas. All right. So you play. You do get mulligans. You go I'll give you a mulligan if it's not All right. Good. So you're playing Tyler Thomas next. Um, Next Thursday, who scored 34 points last time you played. Are you going to make any def defensive adjustments to, to try to control him? Yes, but I'm not telling you because right. I know Speedy's watching. All right, I'll make sure. <laughs> All right. Thank uh, you so much. But listen, he's one of the best players in our league. He's sixth, and in, the, sixth in the nation in scoring. He deserves, he deserves um, special coverage and attention. All right. All right. Kind of set me up for failure right there. I wanted to answer the first thing. Yo, you knocking on every door tonight.